Davey Dave here. Today I'm going to show you the groundbreaking state of the art CDJ2000 and Rekordbox software package. Uh, the CDJ2000 is a groundbreaking tabletop media player and Rekordbox is an advanced music organization software. Uh, you get that free actually when you purchase the CDJ2000. Let me show you the CDJ2000 real quick, give you an overview of that. As you can see, it's got a 6.1 inch color screen. No other player like that on the market has this. Uh, and basically the screen allows you to navigate through your playlist, through um, your music selection and different media you can choose from. Now, talking about the media, the CDJ2000 not only accepts traditional CDs, um, CDRs, DVDRs, so you can have MP3s on DVD, but you can also have USB devices such as external hard drives, uh, USB thumb drives, uh, portable media players, and the way you access those is through this easy to navigate uh, browser section for your media. So uh, Link is an advanced feature, I'll talk to you about that in one second. USB basically gets you to your USB device. Uh, SD gets you to the SD card, so you can actually have music stored on an SD card and access it that way. Uh, disc, of course, gets you to your uh, CD-ROM drive. Uh, now the link feature, really cool. So basically, you can have uh, up to four players linked together. And if you come over here, I'll show you. We got player one here. We've got my USB thumb drive plugged in here. So you can see USB. It's got all my information here. If we go back to player two, when I hit the link button, I'll actually be accessing the content from player one's thumb drive. So there it is. It pops up right there. You can see there's nothing in the USB uh, slot here but it's accessing content from the first player. Um, so it's an advanced browsing section. You've got your waveform display in color there, all your track information. And the top keys here basically shows you how to navigate within the screen. So browse, of course, takes you to the browsing area. Uh, tag list is a really cool feature. So you can actually, uh, as you're playing a song, you can tag that song, if you will, and you can add it to a, like kind of like a favorites list and it'll show up here on the right. Uh, info is basically kind of like a now playing section. So you can see album artwork, uh, you can see uh, where the source is coming from. As I said before, I've linked it to player one, so it shows you the source of the music is coming from player one up in here. Uh, menu is just different menu options, and you can also get to the utility functions here where you can change various settings on the player. Uh, now getting back to the browse section, you can see I can uh, browse songs through artists, album, track, genre, BPM, and different playlists I set up, and you can use this encoder knob to get through those different areas. And just by hitting the knob, and it goes over to you and I can see all my tracks here. And by hitting the knob again, it'll select that particular track and load it up to the player. Uh, if you wanna go back a step, let's say I wanna, I wanna browse by a, a album or artist, I just hit the back button and then I can scroll through those uh, parameters as well. Um, getting to the features, the layout is the same as, as all the CDJ you know, 1000 through Mark III. So you've got your loop on the top left. You got your jaw feel adjust. That feature came out with the 1000 Mark III so you can actually uh, adjust the, the feel of the jog wheel. Uh, you've got your touch and brake adjust, just like the 1000 Mark III, tempo slider. Uh, as you can see, the hot cues, we still got three, but the buttons are a lot bigger and easier to, to use. A lot more real estate on there, so you can play them around. Uh, the direction, forward and reverse, same play and cue. And you've also got a really cool new feature on this player, which is a four beat loop cutter, and it allows you to loop music, a four beat loop just by the touch of a button, and it'll allow you to cut the loop in half uh, just by hitting the button again and again. One of the really cool things that's a first for, for Pioneer is the needle search, and that basically allows you to search any part of the track just by hitting the, the ribbon here, and you can see on the waveform there when I hit it, it's on lock right now, but if I hit play, it'll get to the certain area of the song I want it to. So I'm just moving my finger along that tab, and it gets you to the point of the song you want to get at. Uh, that's pretty much it for the CDJ2000. Like I said, it's a groundbreaking player and software package. So you've got the CDJ2000, and it comes with a record box where you organize all your music. Uh, CDJ2000, groundbreaking.